Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. You know, each and every day is celebrated here in the state of Iowa. Something unique has happened on each and every day, and that's where Jeff Stein comes into play with the Iowa Almanac to teach you about these individual items. Hello, Jeff. How are you? I am well, Lou. How are things going on this Tuesday? Yeah, it's still Tuesday. <laughs> I did the same thing this morning, trying to figure out what day of the week it was already, so you know it is going to be a long week. But we all know yeah. uh, the Flag Day celebrated in June. That That's a, a pretty much a given in the United States. But apparently, here in the state of Iowa, we have our own version of this. You need to explain this. Absolutely. Today is Iowa's Flag Day, Lou, because this is the day on which the Iowa General Assembly officially approved a state flag 101 years ago. You see, there was no state flag for the first 75 years that Iowa was a state. Then in World War I, Iowa's chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution set up a contest to design a flag that Iowans could carry into battle. The winner was Dixie Cornell Gebhardt of Knoxville and that Iowa regimental flag was later adopted as Iowa's state flag a few years after the war. Well, how did she come up with the ideas for this kind of flag and what's going to be on the flag? Well, you might have noticed a good deal of resemblance between the Iowa flag and the flag of the country of France, and that is certainly no accident. We all know that the land that is now Iowa was part of the Louisiana Purchase in 1803 when the U.S. bought the land from France. Dixie Gephardt wrote her words now, Iowa's banner should embrace the history of its domain from the time of its occupation by the Indians to discovery by the French and purchase from Napoleon by Jefferson to its admission into the Union down to the present time. And all this, she wrote, should be represented in a design so simple that school children and adults could recognize its symbolism and know that it meant Iowa. So that includes blue, white, and red stripes, with an eagle displayed on that white center stripe, and the eagle carries in its beak blue streamers with the state motto, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. You'll note the word Iowa is there in red. That is the color of blood. And Mrs. Gephardt Lou said she used that to symbolize the wartime sacrifice our boys may make for us. Wow, and you, you can look at what the detail was on that. You know, nowadays, if a, we were to asked to design a flag like that, you would use a computer and use some really fancy graphics. But uh, she had a little different approach, didn't she? How about crayons? Crayons? That original crayons. I don't know if it was a Crayola 64 box or not, but the original flag design was drawn in crayon. And you can see it today because it's on display in the Marion County Courthouse in Knoxville, where she was from. Iowa's flag has proudly flown now for just more than 100 years, ever since it was approved by the state legislature on this date in 1921. How about that? I like the crayon drawing. That would have yeah. been cool to have the flag with the actual crayon drawing. You can talk about computers can do their magic. Maybe get the original crayon drawing and uh, recreate a flag with that original depiction. Yeah, we should bring back crayons. Right? It's a lost art. You know, let's go back to crayons, markers. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, bring back the good old days. But it, that's you, you had to use the uh, the elements and the items that you had back in the day, and that's what they use. And that's a little bit of trivia that you can use throughout today. Uh, but this is the anniversary of that very day when the, they call it a banner, right? The the banner. It was a banner at the time because yeah. that's what you would take into battle. Each regiment had their own flags or banners as opposed to what we have in common day, the United States flag for everyone. All right, people want to go back and revisit what we just talked about and check out other things that happen each day of the year. Where can they go? IowaAlmanac.com on the socials at Iowa Almanac. All right, Professor Jeff Stein, thank you so much. Great job as always, and we will talk to you next time. Have a great day, Lou. You have a great day as well. All right, how about we take a look and see about some things that we are celebrating here today. You do realize that today, the 29th of March, National Vietnam War Veterans Day, Knights of Columbus Founders Day, first founded on this day in 1882, Mom and Pop Business Owner Day. Make sure you visit a local business. It is Piano Day, and you're looking for something great to eat. How about a lemon chiffon cake? We are celebrating that day today as well. 
As always, thank you so very much for watching and hopefully you can have yourself a great day and then come back here and join us tomorrow for another edition of Iowa Live. See you, everybody.